and I'm doing it for my daughter. Jealous of it. People who stay so under the radar, like they barely pop up. They're like gophers. Mm -hmm. That's a gopher. Mm -hmm. Like we got a uh, gopher here. Yeah. Like you, you stay totally under the radar. No one sees you. No one. All I don't know. He says, I, he says something like that. I think a lot, a lot of, a lot of people get in. Um, oh my god! Like there are point there. <laughs> oh god, that makes no sense. <laughs> I'm fucking cocked. <laughs> that makes zero point zero sense. There, there are, there are phases. I think it's a, I think it's actually a bad thing to peak in. I mean, it's a very, it's obviously a bad thing to peak in high school. Like, like high school is like the oh. pinnacle of your, your shit. Like you were the, like the fucking man in high school, or whatever. I think. Um, and the re the reason why that is is because everybody has phases in their in their lives that are phases of like cold bleak solitude and it it it, it, it can't be helped you know if it could be helped you would get, you would get out of these phases but there's going to be times where you're going to be like you know eating dinner alone mm. or just doing doing something yeah. like very like oh man this is really this is crazy. Like this going, is life. Going like going to D'Angelo's and eating a sandwich in your car. Yep. That type of shit. Like real like yep. going to a wedding and you're not you're an you're an attendee. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And everybody kind of like all the parties fizzle out without you and you go home and you get in your car after that. Mm -hmm. Like you're the single guy. Like if these were didn't if, fuck that night. If these were scenes in in the movie of your life, you would want to edit them out. You these are, yeah, want these no things. one wants to talk about these. You parts. don't want to replay these. And there's also there's also there's phases like that where they those roll on into years. Like you can get years of that type of stuff. Oh yeah, and um, tons and of it. Maybe that's not what this guy's going through. But my my point is like any any time you're you got some situation like this, I think it's you have to. It's like a, if you're in hell, if you're going somewhere and you and you end up in hell, you keep going. Like you don't stay in hell. You have to kind of double down on your investment in yourself. And you're like figuring out what nah, you want. Nah, they're fucked. They're down. Stay there. They're down. You're done. My 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 good buddy. I'll never find this. Mm -hmm. I love him to death. <clears throat> I moved two of my best friends when I bought in a multifamily. Mm -hmm. Then I moved my two boys in. Some dudes just fucking stay renting and stay mm -hmm. smoking weed, and mm -hmm. that's just not their animal. Mm -hmm. It's a no dad thing, mm -hmm. or it was a cunt mom. Is he, is he married? No. He's no, he's single as a Pringle. How old is he? Fucking my age. 36. Oh, man. Built. Goes to the gym. Mm -hmm. Plays a uh, fucking semi-pro softball. Mm -hmm. he's, like a, he's real good. I love this kid. I love this kid to death. But, he's a fucking... yeah. but he plays fucking smacks softballs mm -hmm. for 2500 a year. Oof. A year. That's crazy. Right. Travel, drive, go. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Wear a jersey, wear a hel turquoise helmet. Oh, my God. The whole thing. Mm. This is my friend. Mm -hmm. I like him because when we were friends, we got in a f almost a fist fight where he tried to stiff me on rent. Mm -hmm. And I and uh, I was like, you're selling weed. You're not paying me money. It's 350 bucks a month. You're fucking me over as hot as you get. Fuck you. You know, weird thing. I'm like, explain to the way you don't. We get to this fucking yeah. verbal argument we're <clears throat> boys how do you not and i go why don't you buy your own house and then rent it out and see how you fucking live uh -huh. why don't you do what i do uh -huh. he did uh -huh. he bought one for 160 in like 2011 uh -huh. now it's worth like 330 uh -huh. and he like thanks me to this day wow yeah he's like you fucking asshole i was like well <clears throat> imagine me living on your couch and then you charge me three twenty five being a divorcee because I cheated on my wife and I want to live in your couch, mm -hmm. smoke weed every day and play video games, mm -hmm. and then I don't pay you three the three twenty five. I don't pay it that mm -hmm. month. <laughs> I'm just like, no, nah, I got fucking it's like brutal next month, dude. And that's what he was doing to me, mm -hmm. and I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm giving it to you. Like, you, get out of here. I got furniture. Like, I, I I brought all the living room, the dining room. I got everything. Mm -hmm fridge it was fucking brutal fucking unbelievable um any anywho back to this kid who's working as a prep cook in a bbq restaurant i would say that um the the lon the loneliness and the the regret and the solitude and whatever all these things that you're feeling there these are the, these are the kind of like the the bread and butter of of life this is mo that's most of what you get i think for most people and you want you, you need to learn to like function properly in that um 
with with that type of the, uh, those thematic th tones running in your life that's the soundtrack of your life is like you know eating a eating a sandwich from d'angelo's in your car alone or whatever and you have to you know fucking you just... seem like he was getting clout from the other uh, people he worked with in his new job that was said somewhere yeah, he, his uh, yeah. his boss likes him. His yeah, capitalize on all that and yeah. then use that. Be, be just every yeah. Be uh, cool about being cool. Optimize everything that you can. Mm. If you can be likable, be likable. Mm. If you have a boss that like sees something in you, you're, you're young. You're uh, he he's, he owns a barbecue restaurant or whatever. F f just be continue to be that. Continue to be likable and um, you know find a find a mentor find a skill find whatever do the it thing get a side hustle whatever just be constantly trying to optimize these things and don't um don't don't wallow in regret you know the past is the past there's nothing you can do about the past it's done the only thing you can do about it is let it ruin uh, spoil your future get a cool tattoo and then move on yeah get it go listen to a, a, a my chemical romance get a tattoo and and keep it rolling um i can't do this last one people are uh, you give them a you give them an inch of the i would i would i would never multi-families you be ready you and be ready for the worst people and people people ask me for the financial advice and they, they you're the yeah. one that knows this stuff you're yeah, the one oh, yeah. that you're the one that knows about it yeah yeah i, I the only thing the only reaction i have to it is fear mm. i swear to god you never see Work a, a three hundred thousand dollar pile faster than I did. I swear to God, and you challenge me, I'll, I'll go. I'll go toe to toe with anybody. He still works like he's broke. I work like I'm a fucking straight up like homeless fucking crackhead sucking fucking like milk water out of the bottom of a fucking pallet. I'm drinking. I'm drinking water off a pallet for with straws. You work like you're a uh, Vietnamese riverboat uh, pilot named Mugwomp. I'm not lies. I'm not. Literally, that's me. But I speak English all day. Same thing, and mm -hmm. I hang out with Sam. My friend Sam, Sam, when he talks about me, he says, I'm friends with this fucking mongrel. I'm extremely proud of you as a friend. Well, I always, tell, I always tell people how hard you work. I always work hard and because my friend, the, nah, nah. the stuff that you do, it's, it's ambitious. It's stuff that other people can't do. I'm going to fail, though. No. Don't worry. I'm going to fail. No, you're not. I promise. Mm -mm. I won't let you. Here's where I'll fail. Family. Yeah, I know you. What's yeah. the Vin Diesel line? <laughs> family. It's all for family or whatever. Yeah, you won't. And I find out Sammy he won't. He won't. But uh, the 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 farm shit that I'm gonna fail on that. You will fail at the farm shit. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and with the yield farming. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, gonna yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna lose on the yield farming, and then I, literally on the physical side, and I'm the, gonna lose on the straight up real farming. Corn farming. So no, no. There's a Canadian guy that did a um, bank bank per acre thing. That was like, I can make a quarter of a million dollars with a quarter of an acre property. I got I got 23 acres. So what do I make? 10 billion? <laughs> like, literally. For real. I'm not busting your So I'm going to... I read the kid's book. These people are that, such fucking liars. I, they're all liars, man. They're all fucking liars. If you see someone on Instagram telling you how to make money, they're doing it because that's their way of making money. Mm. Is to get you to pay for their plan. That's why it's worth their time. Yeah. Me... Nothing is worth my time. I no. wouldn't even do. I don't even do this. 